Hi guys, it's Arnie, and this is another Alliance War. And this war, I'm bringing my A team. And next wars, I'm going to change a little bit my team and play with different variation of champions. But the main reason I'm uploading these wars, it's not only my gameplay, it's also tips how to fight different opponent types. So it doesn't really matter with who I'm playing, but I do want to change and do want to do some diversity with my champions. This war, I think our opponents. Uh, had 30 million rating I don't remember exactly and they just totally ignored diversity they put the strongest defenders everywhere who had a lot of magics a lot of night clawers icemen everywhere so no diversity at all and this is something that I'm starting to see in different wars also another war with no diversity at all we just see a very strong opponents and they're trying just to prevent probably 100% this is also a strategy so maybe Kabam is not achieving what they want so first wire fight was a cable and cable is pretty easy champion uh, you need to be careful he's level 1 you can evade it but what I usually do just dash back block a little bit and then dash back again just to prevent the last hit so here, this is Abomination, and this is a great matchup for Iceman because Iceman is poison immune. And when you fight Abomination, sometimes it's difficult to evade his level 2, it's just like level 1 uh, of Juggernaut, sometimes it can just touch you, that's the first hit. So what I'm usually doing, I'm just trying to bait his level 1, because it's very easy to evade. It takes more time, it takes more patience, because sometimes... He just won't trigger his level 1 and sometimes he just trigger it immediately. So I put a lot of cold snaps on him. I could break this, uh, just do heavy and break everything but I think yeah, I just better hit him and bait his level 1 and let the frostbites to expire. And he almost dead and will probably die from cold snap and he's dead. Pretty easy matchup and uh, it can be dangerous if you don't have poison immune. Because he can do a lot of damage. So next one. Again, I see a mutant champion and decided this war to play around with Star Lord to give him his glory and cable a game. But this is a limber node, so you don't have many parries. So you will need to intercept a little bit. And cable sometimes he just won't uh, trigger his specials, but something he does. He's, he's powerful, he's very risky, so be careful. What I'm usually trying to do, I'm trying to push him to level 2 because level 2 is much easier to evade than level 1. But here, he's just a level 1 machine and I managed to build my combo and this fight is over pretty fast. So with Star Lord, what I like about him, it requires skill. You do need to build combo to do a lot of damage. Without combo, Star Lord is a little bit weak. So combo is the key. And here again, I see a tech champion. I decided to go all the way with Star Lord, and this is Ultron. And Ultron reminds me a Labyrinth of Legends because sometimes, according to what they say, what Britain and his abilities, it's every eight seconds it can evade. Sometimes I don't know. I think it evade, evades more, and sometimes it can evade and just start hitting you and do a lot of damage, exactly like in Labyrinth of Legends. So. What I'm usually trying to do, to do 4 hits and not 5 hit combo. And this helps me just to evade because after medium it's impossible to evade hit. And here there is a node that I very very like. This node is you have 300% more attack and you, you degenerate over 60 seconds. So you need to hit fast and strong. And Buddha helps me a lot here because of his regeneration. Uh, I also can put a poison and this poison will be huge, just pay attention guys how much he is ticking because of 300% uh, percent attack. So very fast fight, very easy fight, cool node, I like this node, I don't know even who you can put on this node to be annoying, maybe Juggernaut, maybe, I'm not sure. Now we're moving on to Stark Spidey and then Mephisto, Mephisto is going to be a great fight. I promise you guys. Stark Spidey, I thought he's an easy defender, but I rarely fight him and I don't know his style, how he moves. And you will see here that I'm not always able to intercept him. Look, he did few hits, took a lot of health. And here I tried to intercept and it didn't work. 
just with few hits it managed to take more than 50% of my health. This is just a glass cannon, it's just a power machine this dude. I thought to go for him in 5 star, star crystals but I don't have a awakening gem and I already have Star Lord and I think Star Lord is enough for Labyrinth of Legends. So this is not the main fight of this event, of this alliance war. The main fight is going to be Mephesto. This is a rank 4 Mephesto with high mystic dispersion and I'm going to start with Voodoo just to try him out and see what I can do. So Mephesto has annoying ability, two annoying abilities. One, he can trigger his orange generation just by hitting him and this is a very dangerous thing and another one here you can see guys just uh, penetrate my block and I already reported a couple of times to Kabam just ignoring it so I'm not going to talk about it another thing an odd combo of Voodoo won't work because it disables uh, passive accuracy ability so it won't work but I'm trying to do as much damage as I can here and the fight is going pretty good he do have Mystic Dispersion, so I'm currently I'm powerbombing him and pay attention here. This Aura of Incineration do insane damage. Just 1500 per tick, so you do need to keep a uh, distance uh, from him. So now I don't really know when I can attack him because pay attention because of Mystic Dispersion just reach power free power bar so fast. So now I know I'm going to be dead and I'm trying to stop time, trying to hit him as much as I can, to do as much damage as I can and the fight is over, no matter what I do. So now I fed him, fed his soul, so we will regenerate more, but it's okay, let's see how it goes. Wudo is not a good match against Mephesto and I knew it, so I just tried him out. And now we're moving on with Iceman. Iceman is supposed to be the great champion against Mephesto. And Iceman, one thing about him, he's not hitting so hard. So, the fight is started pretty good. And maybe it will go good. So, here's this Iceman immune to our incineration. Or of incineration. And here, I waited for the text message because I remember I need to wait for text message to appear and then I can attack him and not before. And he almost reached the 3 power bars and he reached the 3 power bars before I did. And Mephesto's annoying ability, it disables ice armor. So you need to do a level 3 attack to have this ice armor, otherwise it won't work. And what he did, he also drained all my power, so pretty cool after level 3. So now I'll try to bait his level 1 only. And this, this strategy works, so I can trigger my level 1 because Mephesto is immune to Cold Snap. I don't know why by the way, why Iceman, uh, sorry, why Ghost Rider not that Mephesto can, but this is Kabam's logic. You can't mess with Kabam's logic. So now I saw the text and I'm attacking him again and I almost have 3 power bars. And I will be able to activate my Ice Armor and here. When he has his aura, he also gained power, so you need to be careful with it. This with Mystic Dispersion is just a very good defender ability. So I almost have 3 power bars. I'm waiting to reach my 3 power bars, and now finally I reach 3 power bars and I'm activating my spell, uh, special 3. So the fight is going pretty good. I'm doing a lot of damage here. I'm really enjoying this fight, I must say. So now I know I can push him to level 3 and he won't do much damage. So I have my ice armor and <laughs> it's a pretty cool animation, I must say. That he's eating you and then he just split you. <laughs> and he disabled my ice armor. So now I'm just trying to push him back and sometimes trigger his special and sometimes not and here he parried me and I knew when he parried me the fight is over but I managed to do a lot of damage and now now my boy Star Lord with Star Lord all you need to do is play aggressive try to build your combo and here I 
don't know why he didn't dash back, so stupid mistake. Lost a lot of health for nothing. Those guys, they ignore diversity and it pissed me off a little bit because there are some rules. I know Kabam do a lot of stuff that we don't like, but there are still rules and maybe not diversity is a strategy, but I'm not a fan of it, so I will do my best to kill this Mephesto because if Mephesto will go down, we will get all three battle groups and we will win this war. And here. He had his regeneration, he lost his souls, and the fight is going pretty good. And here, such a stupid mistake, I was excited, and I didn't wait for the text to disappear and lost all my health here, and I'm died. But, again, I was pissed, so I decided to put a revive on me, to put, a, I don't know why, a level, level 1 team potion and level 3 team health and then 9k potion, it's a 6k potion here, so I don't know why I revived and held all the team, probably I, w I wasn't sure that I would be able to beat with Star Lord, and I'm still not sure, but I'm not, uh, I have a lot of items and I'm not using them anywhere, so in some wars, in order to win, we need to use items for the team, and now this is going to be, to be a very close fight, guys. Very, very close fight. I don't know. I want. I don't want to spoil you and just tell you who was going to win this fight. But it's going to be very, very, very close fight. I promise you, guys. Did another mistake with Aura of Incineration, and I'm just going all in here. I don't care about his Aura of Incineration. And pay attention, my health bar and his health bar. And I'm losing health, I'm hitting him, I have almost no health, he has almost no health. Who is going to win? Who will win? Who will win? Is it going to be Star Lord? Is it going to be Mephesto? And now, look at my health, look at his health, boom! Mephesto is down. This was one of the great and very fun and uh, wars and fights specifically I had and I very enjoyed it and we won this war so it was pretty cool we had another war maybe I will upload the highlights of this war also with no diversity if you like my videos guys click here to subscribe like share and see you soon on my next video